Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here. It's been a crazy week so far, but I have a very special guest, UFC heavyweight champion, Mr. Kane Velasquez. And Kane, I saw you doing all this radio, all this press. Yeah. Feels like uh, one of your fights, no? <laughs> Having to do interview after interview after interview? Yeah, yeah it's a lot, of, a lot of media stuff out of here. Um, yeah, I'm just here for the day, do some media stuff, and then I'm um, just going back home, getting, getting ready for my fight. But it's great to come out here for this boxing event and, you know, seeing how much media is actually you know, here just, just just for this event, but I mean, obviously it's the biggest boxing event, you know, ever, so. I saw you at the stage up there, and it was Juan Manuel Marquez, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., and I saw you got giddy, giddy like a kid, after you're like, ah! <laughs> definitely, definitely, you know, with those two guys, um, been fan, you know, forever, and especially uh, Chavez, you know, growing up, I'd watch him, you know, he was some, more of my inspiration, um, you know, in, in the, whole, the whole the whole fight game, so. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've met him before, but still, yeah, you know, it's just... It's, it's, like it hit you at that point, right? It became, like, surreal? Just, just one, one of my idols, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's, it's great just to be there and, uh, you know, get to hang out with him for a little bit, but, yeah, that's cool. Now, looking at uh, your fight, you were scheduled to fight him, I believe, last year. Your fight now is going to be in June in Mexico City, but this isn't the first time you've come back from an injury to go to a fight, but that time off, was it harder the second time, or do you think the first time was harder? I think the first time was harder, you know, just not, not not knowing what to expect. I know the second time, hey, I've been through this before. I know what to do to get, you know, get back in there as soon as possible. So that's what I did. That's what you focus on. You get to have a head and just to say, hey, what can I do to get myself better? And just focus on that. You know, that that keeps it from your head being, hey, you know, I have a fight. I should have had a fight and I can't do it. Um, it just it just lets you not, not dwell on, on the stuff that, that you don't have control of. Where Doom says... Kane, go ahead, come in, take me down. Perfect. What do you respond when he when you hear that from him? You know, I've seen a lot of guys fight against him. I saw, you know, when he fought against um, uh, Mark Hunt, his last fight. Mark Hunt was on the ground with him. Didn't seem like he was in any trouble at all. So if that happens, hey, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Con ganas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now transitioning, obviously, it's a big fight happening here in Vegas. If you didn't know, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, finally getting inside the ring. Kane, we're gonna do this little game here. So we're gonna break down the fight, and you're gonna pick which categories you feel either Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao has the advantage in. Now, we have this broken up into nine categories, as you see right here. Power, speed, footwork, stamina, ring IQ, heart, chin, experience, and the X factor. So we'll go ahead and start with the category of power. Who do you give the advantage to, Kane? Power, you know what? Um, even though Flo, Flo, uh, Mayweather doesn't throw, doesn't throw uh, so many punches, I've seen him knock somebody out by backing up. So that, that shows a lot of power. So I give that to him. All right. Kane gives money the power advantage. Now moving on to speed. Both guys welterweights. The welterweights are fast guys. Who do you give that advantage to? Uh, speed, you know, the way uh, Pacquiao fights, going in with a lot of punches, um, always active. I, I got to give it to him. Now here's a tricky one. I've gotten a, a lot of mixed responses on this next one. Footwork. Juan Manuel Marquez gave it to Floyd. Freddie Roach gave it to Floyd, I believe. But me, when I look at it, man, he's in and out, in and out all the time. How do you see this next one? Yeah, Pacquiao is in and out all the time, but I, just the way uh, Mayweather is so defensive and he's, he's able to get out of punches and be in the, be in, be in a, his body is kind of in a bad spot, but he's still exchanging with the, with the punch whenever he wants to. That then tells he has great footwork that you can't really teach. It's Scott given. So give that to uh, Mayweather. Kane, man, you understand sweet science. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, I do a little bit of it. Just a little bit. <laughs> now moving on to stamina. Both guys in tip-top shape. Who do you feel can just keep going and going and going, regardless if it's a 10-round fight, a 12-round fight? And shoot, if it was in the 80s, they would be able to hang in a 15-round fight. I think, uh, you know, with the style that, that Pacquiao has, going in a lot of punches, that, I mean, you need a lot of stamina to do that. Be so active all the time, be in, in your opponent's face. So the stamina part, I give it to uh, Pacquiao. All right, moving right along, ring IQ. Who does Cain Velasquez give this to? I give it to Mayweather, again, with the defense, with being able. Malfunction, guys. <laughs> with with, with uh, his defense, uh, being able to uh, just dictate you know, when, when, when he wants to strike, you know, he, he's just so good at that. Um, he knows the game. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't stay away from his game plan. I give it to Mayweather. 
Moving now to the next one. Hart, this is a big one. Big one because we know Manny, rough background, fights with his heart. But Floyd, he's been in some spots where he's been in trouble, and he's showed heart as well. But who do you give that one to? Uh, this one here, you know, this one, I give, I give it a tie. I give it to both. To both guys. They both have heart, yeah. They both fight with a lot of heart. You need to have a lot of heart with, to being, the, you know, the two best guys in the world. The next one is Chin. Who can take a punch? Who can handle punishment? Who do you give it to? The Chin, um, you know, Manny, Owls, uh, Manny Pacquiao uh, fight against uh, uh, Marquez. He got knocked out. Obviously, it was a great punch, you know, but, uh, you know, Mayweather hasn't been knocked out. So the Chin, I give it to Mayweather again. I think a lot of fans would agree with you. Marquez, when it came to this category, he actually still gave it to Manny. And he said because Manny's taken a lot of punishment in his career and because his punch, he said, was a perfect, well-timed punch. And that to forget about that, if you've seen him in his career, he's taken a lot of punishment. Now moving on to experience, Kane. Both fighters have a lot of fights. Manny Pacquiao fighting from age 14, I believe. Mayweather, though, growing up in a boxing family, going to the Olympics, having a very well-known amateur background who do you give it to in this category experience factor i give it to both they both exactly they both have a lot of experience a lot of time fighting um you know boxing is a sport where you need to be growing up and you know do it your whole life to be really uh, successful at it so both guys have done that and finally the x factor who's the guy that can completely change the fight with one single thing done who do you give it to the x factor um Undecided. 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 Yeah. You gotta pick one for the sake of the board, Kate. Yeah, well, both guys, you know, have have their style. Manny in forward, a lot of a lot of action, a lot of offense, in and out. Mayweather, uh, a lot of defense. He dictates when he wants to go in the strike. People people might think it's boring, but hey, it's it's effective. It wins some fights. So. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll give it to uh, to, to Mayweather because he's able to dictate the fight. Of, of of what happens in the fight, and he's I mean he, he's never he's never stayed away from that that game plan his whole career. So, all right. So looking at the board, I think Kane has really picked a winner for uh, this fight over here. You got power, footwork, ring IQ, heart, chin, experience, and X factor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Floyd Mayweather. One, two, three, four for Manny Pacquiao. Is it safe to say that you feel Floyd Mayweather is going to win a decision on Saturday night? That's what I feel. That's what I feel. I mean, it's it, it's going to be interesting the fight, you know, to see if Pacquiao's speed can become a, a factor in there. Um, but again, you know, Mayweather ha hasn't shown, hasn't let anybody do that to him. He hasn't let anybody really hit him in, in his past fight. So I kind of see the same thing happening where Mayweather wins. Again, it's great to see you as always, man. Really, really good to see you. Check him out. Mexico City defends and now unifies the title against Fabricio Werdum. As always, here in Las Vegas with Ken Velasquez, Marcos Viegas for Fight Up TV.